Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to have a look at the latest mega box I got sent. This is the October November mega box I believe. Uh, I have the two month subscription, so let's have a look after the intro. So this month uh, has some filaments, uh, and the only one I know of is a glow filament, uh, I saw someone post that online, but other than that I made sure I haven't seen any unboxing videos. So here I have a brochure from Materio 3D, uh, the coupon codes, codes. Uh, a coupon code, uh, uh, color samples, uh, this is from the material 3D, so I guess this is the PLA color selection, so you can see the, the colors they have, uh, but in the box uh, the first filament is uh, from protopasta it's a high temperature polycarbonate ABS alloy, so this is some special filament, uh, it's not abrasive, uh, prints at uh, 270 to 219 degrees with a bed temperature of 110 degrees to 140 degrees, so you really have to have a heated bed for this one, uh, look forward to try this. Uh, it says here this is moisture sensitive, so uh, they say dry at 60C for an hour prior to printing for best results. So I guess I have to try that. I haven't tried out drying out filaments like that, but it's nice to get a chance to do something new. Uh, next one is uh, from Materio 3D, it's a 3D 580 PLA, it's a red, nice red color, uh, this one prints at 190 to 230 degrees, uh, 55 degrees on the bed and it's not abrasive, so I guess this is uh, just regular PLA settings for this one. Next one is, is from Polymaker, uh, Polymax PLA. Uh, this one prints at uh, 190 to 220 uh, and is not abrasive. Uh, I say here the, the impact resistance is up to nine times of a regular PLA. So this is uh, good for mechanical parts. I have to try this out. I always wanted to try out this Polymax filament. Uh, next one, uh, Tolman 3D. That's nice. I always wanted to get Tolman 3D, so this maker box is, is keeping me happy. Uh, this is uh, T glaze, uh, prints at 230 to 245 degrees, uh, and it's not abrasive. Uh, this is a PET T material that's very strong and it's transparent and has a nice uh, blue aqua color to it, so it's, a, it's a nice nice color. Uh, next one uh, is from Fiber Force in Italy. This one is a carbon fiber nylon. Uh, this uh, filament is abrasive, uh, prints at 240 to 260 degrees uh, and a bed temperature of 20 to 70 degrees. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, nylon reinforced with carbon fibers, so this one uh, I look forward to try it and find out how, how it works. Uh, next one is, is from 3D Fuel. Uh, uh, this maker was in the last maker box also. Uh, this is advanced PLA, uh, high temperature PLA with great strength. Uh, this color is limited edition color, only available in autumn. So it's a like, uh, 
dark deep purple now orange orange color and this is uh, uh, prints at 190 to 230 degrees and it's not abrasive so normal PLA settings I would guess for printing uh, next one is from Colorfab uh, this is the glow fill this one I knew about being in the box I saw some tweet uh, about this filament being in the box but uh, uh, this one is, is uh, PLA slash PHA blend that's close in the dark uh, and they say that uh, the glowing lasts longer if you print it with 100% infill and let this print sit in the sunlight for a bit uh, this prints at 195 to 220 uh, C and is abrasive and actually the glow fill uh, filament has some chemical in it that is very abrasive and I've seen uh, people on YouTube talking about this being the most abrasive filament they can find the, the glow in the dark filaments in general so next one is uh, from Atomic filament uh, this is PET G uh, Pro filament I haven't tried PET G uh, before so I look forward to this this filament this prints at uh, 230 to 245 degrees uh, with a bed temperature 60 to 75 degrees and it's not abrasive uh, um, this is a new color for them uh, made for maker box so this is a uh, like a dark blue but transparent to some degree um, and it's really really nice color I, I like the color of it so this was the, the samples uh, I already ate the candy as before and my cat go, got a bag from the candy but I enjoyed that candy so uh, so this is uh, the maker box uh, unboxing uh, for this uh, episode uh, I plan to do sample prints as I did before uh, printing uh, several uh, items with uh, one or two filaments it's it's series in its uh, episode so look I look forward to try those filaments out uh, I am unable to print at the moment my uh, printer had a jammed nozzle and while I was uh, and the extruder uh, assembly was also jammed so I had a I had to remove the hot end from the printer and while doing so I, I damaged the, the wire going into the heater heater block so I didn't get any current to the heater and I ordered a new one but for maybe a week I'm unable to print and I have to wait until I get the parts from Prusa but they are in the mail uh, with the UPS so I guess after maybe two or three days I'll, I'll get it arrived here in Iceland so for now I, I thank you for watching and I hope you like uh, my camera settings I got a new camera uh, a Panasonic Lumix T7 camera as the main camera over there uh, I was wanting to get a, a 4k camera and, and do videos in 4k uh, because I'm also going to use it for photography I guess because I take photos as a hobby also so I can use it for videos and, and taking photos also but for now I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next time and maybe as you can see the cat approves the box it's in the in the maker box <laughs> so it's a good good box for my cat so thank you for watching